The Western Cree Partnership is part of an initiative to provide access to the scriptures in several different but related languages across northern Canada. For many, Cree is still the language that speaks to the hearts of these First Nations people. The yellow dots in the map represents more than 70 Plains Cree communities in Saskatchewan and Alberta. Wycliffe and the Bible Society have worked for many years with Plains Cree speakers, but only a few books of scripture are actually completed and available to this language. The green dots on the west side represent more than 35 communities that speak a different language, Northern Alberta Cree. Our strategy and our vision is that the Plains Cree translation will become a source document in closely related languages that can be used to translate the scriptures for them. The olive colored dots in Northern Saskatchewan and Manitoba represent the Woods Cree language. Woods Cree has an active educational system in Cree but so far, no published scripture in their language. The orange dots across northern Manitoba are the locations of 28 communities that speak the western dialect of Swampy Cree. And over in Ontario, there are five more communities along the coast that speak the eastern dialect of Swampy Cree. The purple dots in northern Ontario shows the communities and homeland of the speakers of the Oji Cree language. 16 very isolated communities with no highways into the communities except for ice roads that are used for a few weeks each winter. Of the languages shown on this map, only Plains Cree have any of the scriptures published in their mother tongue, and they only have a few books of the Bible. Yet, there are many churches of several denominations across Cree territory. In the 1800s, there was active missionary work among these communities in northern Canada, that was centered around Hudson's Bay trading posts. At Norway House, the Cree syllabic writing system was developed and the translation of a Bible in Cree was completed by Reverend William Mason and his wife Sophie Thomas, the daughter of a Cree woman. This Bible, translated a century and a half ago, became the catalyst for the spread of Christianity and literacy across several language varieties of Western Cree. However, in most Cree communities, only a few of the clergy or church lay readers and elders are able to read this old Bible because the language from 150 years ago is so different from what is currently spoken. Those who do use it do an ad hoc translation from the pulpit, or they simply read long sections that they've memorized, but many people sitting in the pews cannot really understand it. So the Western Cree Partnership is an ambitious vision to provide access to God's Word in all the Cree communities to the west of Hudson Bay, including five and possibly six separate language projects that are currently served by only one old Mason Cree Bible. Only the Stan Cuthand Contemporary Translation, which is for the Yellow Dot communities that speak Plains Cree, have any published books of the Bible available to them. So the work continues, but the need is great. The speakers of these languages have waited long enough.